What up everybody, welcome back to the Filsky channel, back here with another video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thing that will dangle from your ceiling or off your wall, however you want it. And uh, it will basically hold string, which the string you can loop down and it will hold onto your figures. And if it's holding onto your figures, that means your hand doesn't have to hold onto it. So you have a free hand to take pictures or to play with, or just for any reason you have a hand free while you're playing with your figures, so you can do anything with. With that said, tons of other YouTubers have done their own methods of this, but uh, I've never seen them do this method. This method is cheaper. What makes this method cheaper is instead of wood like most people use, I'm going to be using cardboard. It is just as strong. I decided to go with this mail service box because I think that was one of the thicker boxes I had, and it wasn't. It was thick enough that it wouldn't break, but it was also thin enough that I could like maneuver it and uh, do what I need to do with it. I mean, obviously using a cereal box is way too thin, but maybe a really big, thick box might be too much. Also, for this, you'll need tape, scissors, and a Sharpie, and possibly a straight edge. Using the Sharpie and the straight edge, I made a straight line. Uh, you, like, I made sure it was straight just because that's going to be easier. But basically, you just want to cut a rectangle out of the box. Um, I did as long as I can't, I could with the box I had. Uh, you may want to do it as long as your ring, as long as your whole table, as long as whatever, as long as you need it to be, as long as you want to be able to move your uh, string back and forth across. But basically, that's why I used a straight edge for was to make sure all my lines were straight because later we're going to be folding this in half. As previously mentioned, the next step is to fold the cardboard in half and uh, tape it down. I chose to use packaging tape because personally, I found that to be like strong. Similar, I guess you could use duct tape if you wanted to be really strong too, but I figured this would look best because it's clear, but that's just what I did so you don't want to fold it in half and just tape it together on all the open ends. Next, take your Sharpie and make really small lines really close together across the creased end of your cardboard, not where the tape is. Take your scissors and cut straight in and just cut on the lines. Just not very deep down, just through the lines, all the way through the cardboard, you're making a little slot for the string to fall into and not fall out. This is my old setup and this one works okay but this new one that I'm showing you how to make right now is way better. This one was way more simple though. It was just one long line of fishing line and it was just taped to the ceilings but I couldn't really move it that well. All the movement was on with my hand and you could you could see my shadow in a lot of the pictures so that made it very difficult and that just meant I had to do well with my tripod placement but that was difficult so that's this new what that's why I'm doing this new way to show you guys but just so that way you know it'll work um, I have like a popcorn type of texture on my walls so you know what if it works on that then it should work on any of you guys' smooth walls you made it this far guys now we're in the final stretch just gonna want to put a piece of tape on the ceiling have it dangle down one really long piece and it's going to get on the side of the cardboard from the side of the cardboard it's just going to sit there and dangle so that way you can swing it back and forth wherever you need it to go now if you want to reinforce what's on the ceiling just take a piece of tape going the opposite direction and just stick it on there so that way it's like going the opposite way of the tape and it'll just hold it up there well guys there you have it this was how to make a thing that dangles from your ceiling to hold up string to hold up your WWE action figures with that said, hopefully you all could follow it, hopefully you guys succeeded. If you didn't, well, thanks for watching, but with that said, hopefully you all did enjoy it. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.